Yo, what's going on, guys? MJ is back with new video. Hope you guys having your great day and welcome to Slow Down. This video is for streamers who love to do streaming and for beginners who want to do streaming. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Streamlabs OBS. With this software, you can stream on YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, Facebook, Periscope, and also on Picato. This software is completely free. To get Streamlabs OBS onto your computer, go to the website. I provide link in description, streamlabs.com. So basically, if you don't have a Streamlabs account, so just go on login and it's going to ask you for login with Twitch or YouTube. Whatever your primary streaming account is. So for me is a YouTube. So so going with YouTube. So I am just login with YouTube and just choose YouTube account as you want to link up. And once I do that, I allow Streamlabs to manage my account and whatever, all that good stuff. Uh, once you've done that, you can see another green button for download OBS. You're gonna see something like this here. Click on I agree. Choose where you want to install, then click on install. It may go through 3 to 5 minute installation process installation process depending on on the speed of your PC once you are done click on go ahead and finish and once your streamlabs OBS is open it's going to ask you for login so I am just login with YouTube you need to login in your OBS software so it will save automatically all your settings you are gonna see something import your scenes and your settings from OBS with simple click or start fresh so now you can import all of your settings and themes from old obs if you are using native version of obs i recommend click on start fresh if you are following me along with me that's what we are going to be doing it so once we do that you are going to see all of the beautiful things here that streamlabs obs provides to you now it looks a lot better than native version of OBS as you can see we have a studio live themes crowdbot and store panel we have our scenes and sources so first thing that we need to do is uh, create our first scene which is already done for us there and if you want to create a new scene click on the plus sign and basically a scene is a group of sources that put together everything everything that people are going to see when they watch your stream so if you wanna say this this is a stream one then that's what you can name your scene click done and you are ready to go but obviously there is nothing there is a black screen so you need to go up here and need to add sources so under the sources panel same way as uh, if you are adding a scene click the additional symbol here under the sources and and you are gonna see a few different things all image slideshow all of this good stuff so we are going to add a display capture which you guys pretty well know what a display capture it will automatically capture your screen I have a here this is my monitor you can see my mouse moving now that's kind of what we are going to be let's go ahead and add webcam so click on sources there is a plus sign button click on that and and then go to video capture device now if you are long time obvious user all of these things are going to be look familiar to you go ahead and click on add source on video capture device click done and then it's going to pull your video as you can see I am not viewing here because I have no webcam so yeah it's not showing it's going to allow you to choose a different devices that you have so just select your webcam and click on done you can also do configure your video uh, with configure video you can change the brightness contrast and all of that good stuff and then you are good to go now under the mixer option here which is going to be the next you are gonna have desktop audio and mic slash aux now desktop audio is going to be a what people hear and so you can adjust that here so what you need to do is click the little gear icon here that says open advanced audio settings 
and then we are going to see a few different things now underneath advanced audio settings you are gonna see your desktop audio you are gonna see your mic gonna see your video capture device now underneath desktop audio i would encourage you to do decrease that volume level down to 50 once you done that leave your mic at 100 percent we can adjust it later and once you are done there click the x and get away from there under the desktop audio click the gear icon and click on properties like i did there you need to figure out what your desktop audio is coming from i am leaving it as a default and once you done that click on done and then you are good to go now whenever i play audio like on my computer like this as you can see that desktop audio is going left to right click that gear icon underneath microphone go to property like we just did device needs to be changed from default so for me microphone usb pnp audio device interface and then click done and then now as you can see it's picking up the audio from the microphone that i wanted to pick up from now once we have done all this you got your audio ready you got your video ready you ready to play some games you ready to stream for your business on youtube channel whatever the purpose of this so the next thing i'm going to show you is your dashboard so underneath your dashboard here once you are logging so it actually shows you all of your recent stuff recent donations and subscribers to see where people have a donate to you you can actually go here under donation settings and that you can add widgets here like all of the things that you see let's say you want to donation ticker or stream label or event list everything that you see people do with their streams with where things are coming up on their stream as people are subscribing as uh, people are donating all of that basically can be done here so like the event list all of this year that are going to show as the people are subscribing as people are donating for the event list you just need to click on plus sign button in sources as like we did before then select event list and click on add source and there you can select event options after selecting that event options you just click on done and that's it that's the event list and just set a position of event list where you want to set let's test this event list as you can see it's showing donations membership super chat instead of event list you can add a alert box it's also showing when people subscribing to your channel also donating and doing membership and that's kind of stuff now another cool feature is uh, themes in theme panel you can select your theme and then once you install it and and adding as a fresh in collection in your editor and so now under editor you can see basically it's giving you all of these things as you can see here is a welcome stream starting in game brb just chatting stream ending and under the live here when you go live it's going to basically show you a list of things that are happening minute by minute as the people subscribe as people follow you there are just so many different things uh, that you guys can do once you are ready you are done go back to your editor and you got one more step go down here in the left hand corner where you see settings go to settings and then go to choose your streaming service so we'll change to from twitch to youtube or mixer or facebook and whatever we want to stream to and then go ahead and paste our stream key from your channel whenever you wanna stream from and then click the green done button one of the things that i would encourage you to do is go to output then go down and look and see kind of what your bitrate is a lot of time twitch and youtube will let you know hey you are gonna be lagging or or you know your internet kind of is scrapping you need to play around with your bitrate and see what your internet can handle it because the last thing you want to do is start streaming so set a bitrate as i am showing here also you can see this table down here
and then when you are ready to go live hit that big go live button I didn't show here best settings of Streamlabs OBS because video is already so long so if you recommend that then comment below I will make video on that thank you so much guys for watching my video hopefully it was helpful if it was hit like button subscribe and share with your family and friends and I will see you guys on next video peace